Hi, second grade friends. Happy Monday. For reading today, we're going to talk about our April calendar. I know you did not get one, but I'm giving you one right through the YouTube channel today. We're going to talk about summarizing. So let's look at this more carefully. Summarizing is our April strategy of the month. So all of our lessons are be coming from this April calendar. Mrs. Spadone has been teaching you all of these strategies and she will continue that. And I will be showing you this strategy up here, which is summarize. It says that means I can retell a story in words or in writing, giving only the most important parts. So you're going to retell the story to someone who didn't hear the story. So if you're going to summarize the story, first you need to read a story. So today we are going to read this beautiful book called Hawk Eyes, written by an author who goes by J L W. This is such a beautiful book. It's a great story. Here we go. Remember, you're going to have to summarize it so make sure that you're listening. The author signed my book. I'm so lucky. I'm very lucky. Here we go. Look at these pictures. I love them. Every morning, Lulu bounces from bed with the first whisper of dawn. Lulu loves mornings. There are always things to discover, fun to be had, and joy to soak up. She does look happy in the morning. Are you that happy in the morning? Or do you look more like that frog in the morning? <laughs> but today, Lulu does not feel like getting up early. She is not excited about this morning. Lulu's mom is away for work. She left when Lulu was sleeping and she is not coming home until tomorrow. That means an entire day and bedtime without mom. This makes Lulu sad. Have you ever felt sad when your mom or dad had to be away for a couple of days? Lulu loves her dad time, but dad is home every day. Weekends are special because mom and dad are both home. But today is Saturday and Lulu's mom is away Maybe I'll just stay in bed all day today, thinks Lulu, feeling a little sorry for herself. Okay, so let's look at this picture. What do you think this bubble is for? Yeah, I agree with you. It looks like these little dots are showing that she's thinking. She's like daydreaming about the days when what? Her mom and dad were together playing with her, but today she knows that mom's not gonna be home. So she thinks maybe I'll stay in bed. I get it, right? We've had days like that where we think maybe it'll be better just to stay in bed. I love these pictures, they're great. Lulu comes dad's voice as he climbs the stairs. Lulu can hear her dad coming along with the pitter-patter of four furry paws and panting breath. The sun is up. It's a new day. I wonder what magic is coming our way, sings Dad. Lulu's dad loves turning sentences into songs. Suddenly, the door springs open. Aunt B, bound into the room, jumps onto Lulu's bed and starts giving Lulu morning kisses. Lulu loves waking up to Aunt Bee's kisses. So I'm guessing that her dog's name, did you catch that? I'm thinking her dog's name is Aunt Bee. So there's dad, he's happy about the day. He's ready to say, hey, it's a great day. And what's he gonna find when he gets up to Lulu's room? Hmm. Huh. Oh, look at, she has the picture on her nightstand. Wake up, sleepyhead. It's time to get out of bed, sings dad. Won't, why won't we take Aunt Bee to the park? Without mom, asks Lulu, trying not to giggle as Aunt Bee stops her kisses and tilts her head at the word park. Sure, says dad. 
we can make it a great day and Aunt B can have some ice cream. I didn't know that dogs can have ice cream at the park. She's still not sure about it, is she? Lulu pulls the covers right tight over her head. She wants her mom to be there too. I know it is not ideal, Lulu, but lots of moms and dads travel for work. Let's find a positive perspective. What does perspective mean, Lulu asks, peeking out from under her covers and scrunching her nose. Let's check out this word that she wasn't sure of. A positive perspective, perspective. I know what positive means. That means something good, something good that can come out of something. Maybe her dad's trying to say that something good might come out of this day, even though she's sad about what? Yeah, she's sad that mom is away for work this weekend. Hey, there's that word that we were trying to figure out, perspective. There's that thinking bubble again. Let's see. Perspective is a big word that means we get to choose how we look at something, says dad, and how we look at something can change how we feel about it. What do you mean, asks Lulu. Well, says dad, it looks, no, let's look at today two different ways. We can stay home and be sad, or we can take Aunt B to the park and enjoy this gorgeous day. Then before we know it, mom will be home. So if you look at her thought bubble, there's one Lulu that seems pretty happy about it. One Lulu that's not so sure. So dad's saying, you have a choice, Lulu, how you're going to behave today. You can either look at it like, hey, this is a great day to go to the park and have fun with Lulu and dad. Or you can just stay home all day and be sad. Which one do you think Lulu is going to pick? Lulu thinks about what her dad is saying. She does want to have fun today. Would you like that, Aunt B? Lulu asks her loving pup. Aunt B says, yes, Lulu tells her dad as she slides from her bed, trying to leave her gloomy feelings behind. So she's trying to make the right choice, right? What's her choice? Yep, she's going to try to get up and she has a half smile She's going to try to tell dad that they're going to have a great day. The dog is sure, sure going to have a great day. Dad was already in a good mood, so he's going to have a great day. Let's see what happens to Lulu. Lulu's local park is perfect. It has the best jungle gym, a big fountain, Shelly's Sunday shack, and lots of grassy hills where Aunt B can run free. Wow, this looks like a dream. I would love to go there. Look at these sprinklers, it looks like. Splash pad, maybe. Wow, little ice cream shack in the middle of the park. I'm surprised that she didn't want to go at first. Are you surprised? I think I would have a great day if that's where I was going. Lulu also loves lying on the hills and watching the clouds float by. That one looks like Aunt B, laughs Lulu. I think it looks like a llama, says Dad. I guess we see it from different, there's that word, perspectives. So what were they seeing from different perspectives on this page? Yep, they were seeing the clouds. So they found a big cloud and Dad said it looked like a llama and Lulu said it looked like their dog. And I wonder what the dog is thinking. Look at him, he's having a great time. Now look at Lulu's face. What would you guess about her mood? Make a guess about her mood. Look at that hawk flying way up there, Dad points out. What do you think she is doing? What do you think she sees? I'm not sure, says Lulu. What do you think she sees from way up there, Aunt B? After a moment, Lulu adds, 
Aunt B says the hawk can't see anything from up there. Sure she can, agrees Dad. She is definitely seeing much more than we can see from down here. Maybe we can learn from her. So check this out. Where is this hawk flying right now? Way above their heads, right? So he is a hawk looking down at them. Remember, um, Dad and Lulu and the dog were laying in the grass. He's looking down at them. They're looking up at the hawk. Do you see how that might be a different perspective? A different way to see something? That's pretty cool. There they are. I can only see from down here, says Lulu, scrunching her nose in thought. Well, the hawk can see far and wide from way up high, explains Dad. We can try to do that too. When we look at any moment in a different way, it can change how we feel. That's perspective, Lulu. I sort of understand, says Lulu. She's starting to see it, right? That she has a choice of how she can look at things. Do you see her half smile? She's starting to see it dad's way. Wow. When we look at the clouds, we saw different things. You saw Aunt B and I saw a llama. If we looked at the whole sky, what would we see? Lots of animals, lots of clouds in the blue sky. We can choose to look at a small piece or a bigger picture and that can change what we see and maybe what we feel. So when they were laying under the sky and looking up, Remember one of them thought they saw a dog, one of them thought they saw a llama. What do you see up in this sky? Ask other people that live with you, what do you think they see? Do you think everyone has, has a different idea? Hmm, I think this might look like a fish. Do you agree with me or do you think that might look like something different? You get to have your own perspective. You get to have your own idea. And when you look at it next time, you might think of something else that it might look like. This morning, when you were missing mom, how did you feel? Asks dad. Sad, says Lulu. But did we have a great afternoon? Dad asks. The best, laughed Lulu. We decided to make today a fun day, even though you were feeling sad. Like our friend the hawk, you looked further. You looked further than your sad feelings and you saw a bigger picture. You found a positive perspective. Remember, positive is something good. Perspective is the way to see it. You looked at something in a good way, explains dad. And we had a great day, says Lulu. Yes, says dad. You looked at the day from a different perspective and you had fun. Great job, Lulu. Now look at her face. What kind of day did she say that it was? Lulu smiles. She imagines herself on the hawk's back, soaring up high in the sky. She can see the whole town. There's her house, her school, the entire park, the arena where she plays hockey, and way far away is mom, finishing up her work, getting ready to come home. Lulu giggles. Thank you for the new perspective, Hawk. Look at, when you look at it from a different way, you see different things, right? At bedtime, as Lulu's dad tucks her into bed with his usual, it's time for bed, sleepyhead, Lulu smiles. Mom is going to be home soon. Lulu can't wait to tell her mom about the fun day that they had. And thanks to dad, her hawk friend, Lulu, also knows 
I'm sorry. And thanks to dad and her hawk friend, Lulu also knows the next time mom travels, it will be okay. Lulu will look at the bigger picture and see things from a different, more positive perspective. Look at everyone's face now. It's time to go to bed, she had a great day. That was a great book. And that was a great book to read today because we have been out of school for like three weeks. And I think that some of you are getting a little sad because you've been writing me emails saying, I'm really sad, Mrs. Thomas, I really miss school. And we really miss you too, but we have to look at it with a positive perspective. We have to look at it like Lulu was trying to look at things. We have to say, hey, I know this is really kind of hard that we have to stay in the house and we can't do anything that we normally do, but positive, we're staying healthy, we're staying safe, we have extra time to play with our brothers and sisters, we have extra time to clean our room, we have extra time to make art projects that we don't have, we have extra time to play in the backyard, we have extra time to take care of our pets, right? Things that we normally don't have a lot of time to do. So try to think of something very positive in your thoughts today when you're thinking about missing school. And I will see you very soon. Bye.